Okay, so this wraps here, and we're going to do one final transformation matrix uh, video. And so if I consider this first scenario, I have a triangle, A, B, C, where I have, we have 2, 5 as A, we have 2, 1 as B, and we have 5, 1 here is C. And so here is my triangle. I know it's a right angle just by the dimensions and how the Cartesian coordinate system works. If this is a 1 and this is a 5, I know this distance is 4 and this distance is a 2 and this is a 5, so this is 3. And I know that area of a triangle is equal to the half the base times the height, which will be half times 4 times 3, which is 12, which is 6. Okay. Now, using the matrices, apply an enlargement of scale factor 3 and obtain a new triangle. Okay, so if we're going to do that, I'm going to, my enlargement matrix is going to be 3, 0, 0, 3. And all my coordinate points from above, if we try it, is going to be 2, 5, 2, 1, and 5, 1. And if I multiply them all, two times three times two, zero times five, and so on, I end up with six, six, fifteen, and fifteen, three, three as my new uh, points. And again, now if I draw it, okay, if I draw it, my scale is not the same as the first one. I'm going to go over 6 and up 15. Now this is 6, 15, this is A prime. Over 6 and up 3, this is B. And over 15 and up 3, so this is C. And so again, here is my triangle. My scale is different, so don't compare the scale. I know that this is B and it is a height of 3. This is a height of 15, so the difference is 12. This distance here is 6, this is 15, so this distance 6 to 15 is 9. So if I want to find the area of this triangle now, I, the area is going to be the half times 12 times 9. Well, that's 6, and so I get 54. Okay, so far so good. Now it says calculate the determinant of the large enlargement matrix. Well, the, the enlargement matrix was 3, 0, 0, 3. And so the determinant of that, this is the notation for the determinant, is going to be 3 times 3 minus 0. So this is the determinant. Now, D part says conjecture relationship between the original area, the image area, and the determinant. Well, here's the original area. The original area, the determinant, and the new area. Well, it looks like when I multiply those two, I get this. So, the area of the original, of original, times the determinant of the transformation matrix will be the area of the new image is what it looks like. And more than looks like it, it is actually true. So the area of the original times the determinant equals area of the new. This is not in your formula booklet, so it's something you should be aware of.